Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trillet Explanation. In this video, we are going to cover unit, give users a choice from the module screen flows. Now, as part of this unit's challenge, we'll be focusing on creating multiple choice questions in which we'll add a pick list and a checkbox group to the flow new bot op. Now, this flow new bot op we had created in the units two challenge where uh, we had added a screen element and we were creating an opportunity. So make sure you attempt unit two before moving ahead with this unit challenge. Otherwise, you won't be able to complete this unit as well. Another thing you have to make sure is you are using the same trailhead playground in which you have created this flow new bot op as part of second unit challenge. So make sure you are using the same trailhead playground in which you completed your unit three and then attempt this unit as well in the same playground. Now, moving ahead quickly, launch your trailhead playground, and we are going to edit the same flow which we created in unit two, that's new bot op flow. So let's just go, uh, go to your setup and open flows. Here we are on the list of the flows that we have. Open the new bot op flow. So this will open up the flow builder for us. Now, the moving ahead, we are going to add few components on our screen element. So the very first component that we have to add is a pick list component. And we are going to label it as new or existing customer. So let's just copy this label, go back to your flow and here open up this screen element. Now on the left hand side, just search for pick list and drag and drop it on the screen element. Label it new or existing customer. API name will be auto-populated. It has to be required as it's mentioned here that this has to be checked. Data type will be text and we are going to create a new choice resource by the label choice type. So I'll just copy this. And in that choice type, we are going to get the pick list value of type field from opportunity object. So let's just go back here again. Scroll down and under this choice label, you have to click and select new choice resource. From the resource type, it will be pick list choice set. API name, I'm going to paste it over here. Object will be opportunity. Data type will be pick list and the field for which I want to fetch my pick list value is type. Select this and we are going to sort those values in the descending order. That's all we have to do for this choice resource. So basically what's happening here is I'm fetching all the pick list values of type field on opportunity object and storing it in the variable by the label choice type. That's all, just click on done. Now, the next thing is we have to add a checkbox group. So for that, you have to label it as next step. So I'll copy the label, let's go back there. In the left hand side, just search for checkbox. Before we uh, go ahead with the checkbox, I want to highlight here that for the choice, we created a new resource by the label choice type. So that label has been automatically selected over here because we had clicked a new choice resource plus item. So it's, it has been selected and all the pick list value will come in this choice type variable. Now select this checkbox group and drag and drop it below pick list component label it the label which i copied from the challenge next step data type has to be text and for this one as well we are going to create choices now there are five choices that we have to add all all of those are mentioned in our challenge so the very first choice that we have to add is confirm product so we'll copy this label from here go back to your flow builder now for the very first choice i'll paste the label in this choice text area and click on this create confirm product. So as soon as I click on this button, it will create a resource choice resource for us with the API name confirm underscore product and the label that's there present for this choice is confirm product on the left hand side. You can see over here that it's without underscore it's confirmed product similarly we are going to add the rest of the four choices as well the other one is identify contact so i'll copy this label again and the api name will automatically uh, take up as identify contacts let's just go back there paste this choice here and click on this create identify contacts now you can see api name or the lab variable name has been automatically set to 
identify underscore contacts and label is identify contacts. So this is how we want. Now, next one is follow up call. Similarly, I'll add another choice. Click on create, then site visit, create, and then research. So now all the five checkbox group choices are there on our layout. That's all we have to do for this screen element. Just click on done and we are good with our screen element now. The last thing that we have to do is we have to assign these components value on our field at the time of creating opportunity. So let's just go back to our create op element. Now here we are assigning two fields value amount and close date with the variables which we had created in the previous units challenge. Now here we have to add another two fields that are type whose value will automatically be coming from new and new or existing customer pick list component which we had added on our screen element. So select this component. The next is we have to add another field value, which is next step. So this is again a field on opportunity object. Next step, it will have the value coming from the variable. Next step, which, uh, which is a checkbox group component on our screen element. So select this variable from here. Now that's all we have to do as part of creating the opportunity record once the user input all the values on our screen element and then moving ahead, this will create a this will create an opportunity record with these four fields pre-populated. Now click on done. So save all the changes over here. And if you notice on your left hand side, there are choices, variables created from our screen component. So you can see confirm product. If I open one of the variable, you'll find here that confirm product API name is coming with underscore and it has taken the label confirm without underscore, just the spaces between confirm and product. And the same confirm product with spaces is coming in the choice value. So it has automatically created this choice variable. We have used that in our checkbox group. So that's all just click on save. Now, if we'll try to debug this flow, we will not be able to create opportunity record because of the reason I have mentioned in the previous units challenge as well, that we are missing required fields on opportunity name and stage name. We are not assigning those values to the opportunity as of now. So maybe in the future videos or future unit of this module, we'll be doing that. And at that point, we'll try and see whether we are able to create opportunity record or not. not. So for now, let's just debug and see what all changes we have done to our flow. So now you can see over here that all these values are coming. These values are the pick list values coming from the type field on opportunity object. And you can see here, next step is the label and all the choices labels are coming up on our screen element. So these were the two changes that we had mentioned. And if I'll just select this and select any of the type value, close date, let it be the same and I'll add some amount. As soon as I click on next, we are going to run an exception. And this exception is again of required field missing. So we are not going to resolve this issue right now. For this challenge, we are keeping it till adding those components on the screen element only. So this was all we had to do for this challenge. Now let's just go back and see whether we have passed all the required parameters for this challenge. There you go. This unit is completed. See you in the next video with another unit or module. Till then, take care. Thank you so much.